Hey everybody, Scott Hogan coming at you. In this video today, we are gonna talk about taking your punch game. Our ultimate goal is to get your punch out game to be elite. But before we get to elite, we gotta take it to usable. So we're gonna start talking about your punch out game, something you really need to have in the arsenal. Hey everybody, Scott Oden coming at you. We're here in the office here at the studio. So we're just gonna be going over and heading out to the course, working on that punch out game. Before we get to that, make sure you head over to my flight scope. If you're somebody that's got a flight scope unit, whether it's Mevo Plus or XI Tour XI, you can get into the challenge. Make sure you head over. It's the SHG wedge range right now. Top three, we're looking at to be in there 114 points out of 140, so it's pretty good playing, but if you just work on this and get your scores up overall, I think you're gonna see your game get a lot better. So wanna give you a little insight how I help players shoot lower scores and ultimately get to their goals. This is one of them. So make sure you head over and check that out. With that, let's get to what we're really here for. Let's make that punch out game better. Let's head to the golf course. All right, everybody, we're back here. We're at Inwood Golf Course. We're gonna be here on the 16th hole. Now this is a common hole where we talk about this punch out game. And I think this represents a really good, you know, situation where this is gonna happen and you can still hit good tee shots and end up in positions where you need to have something of a punch out game. So this is on the right side of the fairway. I've got the green straight ahead. This tree is overhanging. Now I might be able to go up and over, but for the purposes of our video, we're gonna talk about how to go under because sometimes you're gonna have trees that are taller than this and you might, you know, going up and over might not be an option. Now, when we're getting to a shot, a couple of things I wanna look at first. First off, I'm going to look at my lie. So I've got two golf balls down here on the ground that I'm looking at. So this first one is a lot cleaner as I'm hitting the ball. This one, I can get the club on the back of the ball and I'm gonna hit a lot of metal on golf ball, which is really important. Now, this other lie, I'm going to have a lot of grass around the ball. It's kind of in a bird's nest. So I've gotta be careful when I'm picking out the shot that I'm gonna hit because when I have more grass around the ball, it tends to have the ball pop up a little bit and then I start getting into a little bit of trouble because I, I gotta allow for more room for air basically is what it comes down to. With this shot, I feel like I can get a little bit more aggressive. I might be able to keep it low, hit it a little harder because I feel like it's gonna stay low and I'm not gonna have a lot of interference from the grass. So then the next thing I've got to think about is what shots am I going to be able to play? Again, when I have this lie and I've analyzed what I'm gonna do. So again, the first shot, I am going, I can get it to the green. I feel like I'm gonna be able to move this shot and get it all the way up to the green as I go. This second one, I might have to consider a different shot. So when I look at this, again, we're excluding up. If you can go up, then I would look at that as an option. But for the purpose of this video, we wanna work on the low shot. Because again, if you have the shot going up, not available to you, you have to have this other option. So. If I'm not super comfortable, I also have this out right here to the fairway. Now, I'm not a huge fan of doing this where you have to chip out sideways because to me, it's just like you just took a penalty shot. You know, I'd rather get the ball up there where I've got a better chance. Now, if I don't have any other shot and I have to go sideways or even backwards, then I have to do that. And we'll talk a little bit about that. You're basically gonna treat that like a big chip. But again, we wanna get a little bit offensive here. So I'm gonna to try to squeeze this ball up and get it up rolling towards the green. So how am I gonna do that? Now I've done that. So now let's get into the shot as we go. What I'm gonna do is I gotta pick a club. So for me on a shot like this, you know, over years and years of experience, I know that like a five iron is typically kind of the club I like to hit punch outs with because this ball is gonna get in the air enough, but it's not gonna to be too high. One thing I see people struggle with when they do punch outs is they don't account for getting the ball to have a little bit of air time. A lot of times people smother it into the ground and when you smother it into the ground, it just dies. And now I'm still in the trees, but then they'll take too much club. They'll take like a nine iron thinking, oh, I'm gonna punch it low and it's just not gonna happen. It's gonna go too high and that ball is gonna get up into the trees. Now, the other thing we gotta think about is speed. Okay, this ball has to have enough speed so it gets through the rough. 
Again, even if I had enough height, if I'm punching with a nine iron, that ball might not have enough speed on it where I'm gonna get this ball out. So I gotta think about the club and balance the height I wanna have with the speed that I need on the ball. It's not necessarily about yardage here, it's about how much speed are you gonna put on the shot. And then you ultimately would think about, all right, how much speed is gonna be on the shot so I don't roll it all the way over the green. That's another thing. So I'm going five iron, I think it's a good play. Now, the other thing then when I go to hit the shot, I'm going to just choke up on the golf club. So if I have a normal grip here, I'm gonna choke up about maybe an inch. I'm almost on the steel. I'm gonna narrow my stance. And because this is a clean lie, I'm gonna think about just making a hip high to hip high swing. And I'm gonna try and just get this ball to move. So let's see how we do with this one. Actually hit a really good shot. It's rolling actually onto the front part of the green. So that was a good one. Again, because I had a good lie, that ball did exactly what I thought it would. And from here, getting the ball to roll onto the front part of the green is good. So let's do really quick. We're gonna do this one from the rough. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. Um, I have to aim a little bit more right here and I'm not gonna hit it as hard. When I hit it harder, if this ball comes out of the grass, it's going to pop up a little bit more. So I have to be ready and give myself a little room for air. So I don't think I can hit this one hard enough to get to the green, but I can be in a good spot to get up and down. So let's see if I can keep it low. This one's a little bit tougher. I did keep it low. That was a tough one because I didn't get it all the way. I had to dig it out of that grass. And so it just didn't have the speed on it. It's still fine but it got caught up, it's like 30 yards short of the green. And that's just because, again, I didn't have the greatest lie. So did I advance and improve my position? Yes, but you have to pay attention to your lie because that's gonna dictate what your result expectations should be. Uh, too, again, too many times I see people thinking, oh, I'm gonna knock this on the green or I'm gonna punch this way up there. And it's like, you know, that ball's sitting really, really poorly. I, that shouldn't be your goal. Try to advance it to a better spot and then go from there. That's how, if you're somebody trying to break 90 or even break 80, this is what you're gonna need to be able to do so you can get that next shot on the green. Or if you're trying to break 80, you gotta be able to attack from the next shot, which is what we're looking to do. So if you have questions about this, make sure you leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you everybody for watching. We got more with the Mevo Plus coming up. So click that subscribe button, don't miss out on that. And we will see you in the next video. Peace.